I'm from the old school. Well, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Well, sometimes you have to realize that once in a while, it is true. Can you imagine having a, a system that produces this type of energy without the need of wind, sun, or traditional fuels? Ayn Rand imagined an engine that transforms our world. Before she wrote Atlas Shrugged, Nikola Tesla imagined a fuel source that would come from Mother Nature herself. Fiction is now reality, and the future is now. capable of producing power without any pollution, without using any finite resources. It, it's amazing technology. I began when I was a, a, uh, just a kid, so I grew up during the space race. Of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. I had a couple of older brothers that, uh, that were engineers, and my oldest brother, Erwin, his nickname was Wynn, uh, he wanted me to have good hobbies, so one of those hobbies was physics. So we started watching some eight millimeter reels from a professor of electrical engineering in England, and his name was Dr. Eric Lathwaite. This is an experiment with a spinning wheel. And Lathwaite invented a lot of things that we take for granted today. Uh, the maglev train, of course the rail gun, uh, even the device that originally tracked and operated disk drives and computers, those are all things that stem from Dr. Lathwaite's work. I was just awestruck when I would watch these as a kid, and my brother encouraged me to pick something in physics that, uh, that would be interesting, uh, and I picked magnetism. I only do things today that interest me and that are actually going to make a change. It's going to you know, change the world that we live in today. So when I first met with Dennis, who is pretty much a genius in this field, I, uh, I started looking at the opportunities, those things that can be done. And in all the things that I have done, which are many, this appears to be the most disruptive thing that I've ever been involved in. Tesla said that eventually man would connect his machines to the very wheel work of nature. And the wheel work of nature is magnetism. The Earth engine is a way, uh, very simply, to take uh, pressure from magnetic force, just like when you were a kid, you put two magnets together, you soon found that they not only attract, but they repel. It, in very simple terms, it's a way to harvest that pressure between those repulse magnets. Dennis's brain never seems to stop, so he's constantly got new ideas that he wants to try out. I've been with Dennis for 15 years. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't give up. You know, he looks for another avenue out, which is how we got where we are. Because if, you know, if we would have just said, oh, we can't make that work, oh, I can't understand how that works, what do we do now? You're done. You quit. You just go away. But that's not Dennis. He doesn't do that. He doesn't quit and go away. <laughs> as far as the technology, it's fascinating. I'm, I'm thrilled to be fortunate enough to be a part of it. So we're basically, if you will, pioneering our way through it. There isn't a, a, a touchstone or reference for us to go back to. We're always developing. You know, we're always trying to improve and we're always learning because this is really different technology. There's a lot of things we're coming across you can't look up on the web or any place else. So basically at this point, we're writing the book on how to do what we're doing <laughs> while we're doing it. I told him we need a, a library of everything we've tried, you know. It's really exciting to be able to design things ourselves that no one else has ever designed. It's all unique, brand new things. You know, it's, it's amazing that you look at the clock and it's four o'clock in the afternoon and you've been here since five in the morning and you don't even realize it. Time goes, because I really enjoy this. This is gonna change the world and I'm blessed to be part of it. I, I, I'm involved in this and I do this for many reasons. I'm at a point in my life where I'm fortunate I don't need to work. I've had plenty of jobs. But I see the need for us to help each other. And in my particular case, I have eight grandchildren, and I look around and I wonder, after they get their degrees, what the hell are they gonna do? 
there's not a lot out there for them to do, number one. And number two, there's no real new technology other than this. So if you take this technology and you start applying it to other applications, we open up a whole new world. I mean, if you think of what you can do with magnetic propulsion, it just is unlimited. Approximately eight, nine years ago, uh, I saw that Dr. Lathwaite's videos um, were actually on the internet. Uh, that really got me motivated to take what I had in my head my entire life and say, I better apply this or someone else will. And so I took that knowledge and I went to work in 2010 and uh, today we're sitting here uh, with uh, a commercial earth engine. If you don't physically experience it, it is very, very difficult to comprehend. Harvesting a magnetic field is incredibly difficult because there, almost everything on the planet has carbon in it. So therefore it's attracted to a, a magnetic field. And that's very, very easy to understand. If you have a magnet, you have a paper clip and you let it go, it's gonna to stick to it. So taking that and being able to control that magnetic field, in other words, be able to turn it on or off without the use of electricity uh, has been the desire of a lot of inventors, innovators, scientists, and engineers. Uh, Inductance Energy Corporation is the first company to be able to harness that force and actually put it to uh, commercial use. What's really unique about this is um, if you took this system and you stuck it in the middle of the ocean, it could produce the same electricity as you could in downtown Manhattan. You're, you're able to produce not just electricity, but um, if you want to operate a pump, you want to operate a sewage treatment plant, you want to operate a compressor, it produces horsepower. Uniquely to what Dennis has developed here is that this, most magnets will produce energy, right? But they dissipate over time. But more importantly, they don't create torque. What he has developed, which is really the secret to it, is it creates torque. And torque allows you to use it for many different applications. You could conceivably use it for the engine of a car. The Earth engine's uh, implications for the planet are, are no less than dramatic in places that are completely underserved uh, because uh, people are, are, are impoverished. Once that you can, uh, you can deliver energy, just power, uh, it doesn't have to be electrical energy, it could be the, the power to operate a pump, the ability to move septic, the ability to pump water, the ability to clean water. All of these things are a problem solved uh, when you have magnetic propulsion, as we call it, the earth engine. Ludwig von Mises taught us that the entrepreneur is different than the rest of us. He can see around the corner of history and imagine things that you and I can't even conceive of. So many entrepreneurs and scientists and even novelists imagine something just like the Earth Engine. Energy is power. Controlling your own energy is freedom.